talk a little bit more about local weather this time. I know you've been tracking Elsa all night. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Uh, we're looking at uh, some rain that made its way through parts of North Texas, now tapering off a bit more. Our Dallas Sky Cam, the time lapse catching some of those showers that passed their way on through as we went through the afternoon hours. Another round made its way on through before our camera switched to uh, Reunion Tower for tonight. I was able to show you that we did see some of that rain make its way through. Now, looking at the radar sweep, searching for anything, not really able to find a whole lot for right now. So that's some good news for us as we widen out the view, though. Still a couple of spotty showers around. These were really uh, just from the daytime heating is where we were able to see some of those showers really hold together those isolated storms. Now that we've lost the heat of the day, a lot of that activity is dying out. Satellite and radar combined showing still some cl partly cloudy skies in some spots. We do have that at DFW. 79 degrees, the current temperature. Calm winds being reported. Dew points at 73, so still a muggy night. And I do expect to see a warm evening overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Our temperatures will drop their way down into the mid 70s. So kind of a warm start for tomorrow morning and then hour by hour for tomorrow afternoon. Our temperatures warm their way to about 91 to 92. Rain chances sitting right around about 20 to 30 percent. So what we saw today, that's what we will see tomorrow. Not all of us seeing the rain, but where you do see some rain, you might get a heavy downpour developing. You see that on the future sky forecast into tomorrow morning, seeing some cloud cover around then into the afternoon hours, those spotty showers popping up. Now I want to go into Thursday afternoon. You notice cool front tries to approach. It stalls out and then lifts its way back to the northeast. So still some shower chances remain in the forecast. Then going into Friday morning, that cloud cover still sticking around. Where there's a lot of cloud cover and a lot of rain, we've been talked about it at the top of the news. Newscast. Here is Hurricane Elsa continue to drop a large amount of rain, even though the center of circulation out over the open water. We are continuing to see a lot of that heavy rain pushing its way on shore. So as far as watches and warnings are concerned, you can see in this red area there are hurricane warnings in effect. That does include the Tampa Bay area stretching her way down through parts of St. Petersburg as well. Inland tropical storm warnings remaining in effect. That blue color indicating a tropical storm watch. And also talking about the potential there of also three to five foot storm storm surge on the way all the way from Bonita Beach and they continue to stretch its way all the way off towards the uh, north and west. So uh, dealing with the potential storm surge as Elsa right now has winds at 75. That center is moving to the north at 14 miles per hour and then possibly by the time we go into tomorrow morning near about 8 o'clock possibly making landfall right near Cedar Key and then continue to race its way to the northeast as a tropical storm as we go through the end of the week and then into the weekend. A lot of rain falling for them there. We're going to be seeing three to five inches on the west coast up to eight inches locally for us. We're going to be seeing a chance of showers each afternoon, about 93 Thursday and Friday, Saturday 92. And then on Sunday, if fronts close by, we'll see 89 degrees, rain chances at 40%. And then going into next week, still some small rain chances sticking around and temps remaining below average, Ken.